The Antarctic ice sheet is the single largest ice mass on the planet. It holds nearly 90% of all the fresh water on Earth. But one of its main glaciers, the Thwaites Glacier, is being threatened by warming sea surface temperatures that are melting the buttress holding it back. Meteorologist Sean Stiles explains why scientists are so concerned in this Earth 8 report. Scientists have been studying the Thwaites Glacier in Antarctica for years. It's about the size of the state of Florida, but what's holding it back is an ice dam, and that is starting to melt. If that gives way, it'll start to slide into the ocean, and that's why scientists are calling it the Doomsday Glacier. Next call will be at 1740. What we're concerned about is the buttress that's holding it in place is getting smaller, and you're worried about a collapse and having a large mass of thwaites go into the ocean. Dr. Pat Abbott has been to the Antarctic multiple times and says the Thwaites Glacier is responsible for 4% of sea level rise. But with climate change happening and sea surface temperatures on the rise, it could be a lot more. One of the largest glaciers in the world, it's a very unstable glacier, and our measurements show that it's becoming more unstable, and it's a real concern. That's because the forces that have been in place are changing. The uh, Thwaites Glacier on land, here's this ice plug that's sitting on the, on the sea floor, like building a concrete dam and holding a reservoir of water behind it, and it's being melted underneath uh, okay. by seawater coming in. That's happening because ocean water temperatures around the Antarctic are two to three degrees above normal and accelerating the process. Melting on the bottom from warmer water, melting on the top from sunlight, fracturing apart as it moves, and then calving off big pieces. So the thing is being destroyed by three processes, basically. The amount of ice being held back by the buttress is immense. Over land, the Thwaites Glacier can be over 3,000 feet thick. I think just the size of the ice we're talking about, when we say the Thwaites Glacier is bigger than the state of Florida, and when that goes, if it destabilizes the rest of the West Antarctic ice, that total ice is bigger than the state of Alaska. That's why scientists are working so hard to understand what's happening on the Thwaites Glacier before we reach a tipping point. If we melted the entire Thwaites Glacier, and this isn't gonna happen overnight, we're talking a process that's getting started, global sea level would rise two feet. Scientists have come together from around the world to form the International Thwaites Glacier Collaboration to study the melting glacier. It's a five-year project now in its second year. They're spending $50 million to get a better forecast on how this might affect sea level rise. We'll send it back to you in the studio. Sobering images and information there. Yeah, it's, uh, it's concerning. Two feet. Mm -hmm.